Good afternoon, guys. This is Tina. How are you doing so far? Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about the bin auto wiring. In in a project, I think there's it's impossible all the classes are working alone. They must have some collaborations with each other, right? And uh, suppose you have one bin where it depends on other beans. As a programmer, we can manually to inject some beans, right? And also, it's very, very possible uh, which ask Spring to resolve and uh, inject other beans to your bean automatically. This is uh, uh, done by inspecting the contents of the bean factory. And uh, this behavior in Spring is called uh, bean auto wiring. Okay, and uh, for the bean auto wiring, there are four types. Let's talk about that. Four types. Four. The first type is uh, no, which means uh, Spring doesn't do the dependency injection automatically for you. Instead, a programmer, you have to wire the beans together by yourself. And uh, if you are using XML for the configuration, okay, which means XML, which means no annotation, okay, no annotation, everything is XML, then by default, it won't do any auto wiring for you. As a programmer, you, you, you have to using a property or using the constructor to do the auto wiring by yourself. Okay, let's give one, uh, how about to give one example? Okay, uh, let's, uh, let me create here. So public uh, class, suppose we have, um, let's use in customer service, how about that? Okay, and here, um, no need for a lot. And here, public, class, customer deal. And I suppose here, the customer service depends on customer deal. Okay. And uh, if uh, we are using uh, the, if we are using the XML to the configuration like this way, uh, or like this way, uh, bin, we define an ID is a customer service, okay? And uh, we have a class which is uh, some package dot customer service, right? And the bin. And there's another one which is bin ID equals customer DL. And the class is to which package dot customer DL. Okay, and you start your application using um you uh oh, you configure your application like this way using XML. By default, when by default the Spring won't inject this instance customer DL to the customer service. So uh, if you want to use the customer DL to do some operations, you will get a non-point exception. This is a no, which means if you configure like this way, Spring will not inject this customer DL into customer service for you. And the second one is uh, by name. By name means it will uh, match based on the property name and the bin name. What does it mean? Suppose here we have, uh, let me use this one. Suppose here I add another configuration uh, configuration here auto well and if you say by name what are you gonna do it's gonna check this is your property name okay and this is what 
This is your B name, right? He will check if this name is the same as this name. Then if they are the same in this case, right? Then it Spring will automatically inject this CUSTDAO into here. So you get an instance. Okay, this is by name. Third one is by type. He will find one bean with the same type of the property. If it find, then it will auto while. Okay. If you cannot find, or if you have more than one, then you're gonna throw exception. So what's gonna happen? Suppose in this case, uh, let's how about using another color, okay? Suppose now uh, my customer deal is called this way. Customer DAO, right? If I call it customer deal, if I using by name, the customer deal, this name doesn't match C U S T D A O. So by name won't work because the name doesn't match. So you will get a none for this C U S T D A O. And if I change this one to by Type. I don't cross this one. Okay. I change this one by type. By type means first, I have to inject this customer DL, right? So what's the type of this customer DL? It's a customer DL. Okay. Customer DL. This is a type of this property. And next, he will inspect your bean factory. If you have an instance, you have a bean, which type is a customer DL? Here we have, and if it has, then it's gonna auto wire, which means inject auto wire automatically inject this bin to here according to the type. Okay, the property type and the bin type. This is the by type. And suppose you have an instance, an instance might have multiple implementations, right? And if you're using by type, it only allow you only has a one. If you have more than one or don't have any, then you're gonna have exception through. And the next one is the constructor. Constructor actually is a by type. Uh, the difference is uh, instead of using the setter, then it's gonna use in the constructor. So let's give one example. Mm, let's change another color. How about that? Suppose, oh, sorry, another private. Here we have a constructor, public, customer, service, right? And here we're using customer, DL. We give a DO here, then here using this dot uh, CUST DL equals DL, right? And uh, uh, if we're using the constructor here, auto Y is a constructor, then it will gonna using this constructor trying to do the auto wiring. And then while it using this constructor, he will check, okay, here what I have. I have a customer DL. This one is trying to find a type, which is the customer DL. So the DL, the type is customer DL. Now he will inspect your bin factory. Do I have an instance or bin which type is a customer DL? If it find, it's gonna inject. If it has more than one, then mm -hmm, some then you're gonna have exception through. Okay, so here we are uh, talk about the four types. There's another called the uh, auto detect, but that one is already deprecated. So nowadays, if you want to have auto wiring in Spring, and uh, you can choose uh, these uh, four types, and uh, by default in XML is a uh, no, okay, which is like this way. But if you're using annotation or Java classes, by default is a by type. This by type is a default. Uh, default in uh, you. Oh my god. 
uh, one note. Okay. E, sorry. Oh, uh, no thanks. Okay, tell later. Uh, this song is default in uh, Java configuration. Most likely uh, nowadays we don't we want using this way to do the configuration. Most likely we are using the uh, oh, uh, either XML with annotation or using the Java config with annotation. And uh, later on, we all are uh, in Spring two point five. It also has another annotation called the Auto Wild, right? We are automatically do the uh, dependency injection or auto wiring for us. And I'm gonna show you some hands-on experience. And uh, but the idea is the same, like uh, four types by name, by type, of, by constructor, and just using different ways to achieve the same thing. Anyway. Uh, that's it for this video and uh, if you are interested in um, some coding demo uh, please watch my other videos I'm gonna show you okay step by step okay that's it thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time bye bye